everyone, it's Di here from Di's Den and this week I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is using some stamping up products and some non-stamping up products. So I will not be going through how I stamped everything and everything like that. Um, it has a little pull thing at the back here so it lays flat to go in an envelope. It is a 6x6 six six card so it can stand up if you wish like so which you can't see very well and an insert or it can lay down and you pull this little tab at the back and it says hello fabulous and happy birthday now this card I've done for my Japanese daughter I that's what I call her she was a, a young girl that came and stayed with us a few years back and she's like a daughter we never had so I've made this for her birthday so I'm going to make another one, but as a mail card, because I have a friend's birthday coming up at the end of this week, so, which is this week when I do the video. By the time the video goes um, live, their birthday will be come and gone. So happy birthday, Dennis, for your birthday. So we're going to make this card, but as a mail card. So I'll show you what we need. It's pretty easy. We're going to use a few stamp sets. We're going to use... A lot of these are retired. We're going to be using the Bubble Over stamp set. We're also going to use the Geared Up Garage stamp set. Um, we're going to be using, oh, out of this one, we're going to use the large bottle and, that, and the May Your Day Bubble Over with Happiness. Out of this one, we're going to be using All Geared Up to Celebrate, the Jerry Can, the Car, the Toolbox, and the Smoke or release or whatever you want to call it. I'm also, and that one's still in the catalogue, so we're okay with that one. This one's called Mixed Drinks, so we're going to do this one. I've actually done all my stamping, but I'll show you what I've stamped and coloured anyway. Um, and so it's got a few drinks on it. And this one just for the happy birthday. So everything except this one are all retired sets. But we're still going to have fun making it. It's the technique that counts. So I have cut everything out already because I'm not, it's a fairly long card to do. So I've already done my um, jerry can and my toolbox, my car. I've done two um, glasses. I stamped one and then I did a reverse stamping for the other one. I've also done my happy birthday. I've done two of these bottles and as you can see, this one's cut off here and here because that was the only piece of silver I had. But that's fine because it will be covered so you wouldn't see it anyway. So there's all my pieces there for it. Plus I have two one-inch circles for my pull tab, which I'll, I've used the one-inch circle punch. Okay, for my card, I have a card base that measures 12 inches by 6 inches. I have... An insert that measures five and three quarters by five and three quarters. I have a layer for the front of my card that measures five and three quarters by five and three quarters. And then a white layer from the front of my card that measures five and a half by five and a half. And then a, a, a designer series paper layer, <coughs> excuse me, that measures five and a half by five and a half. You'll see why they're both the same size in a moment. My slider measures five and three quarter oh sorry four and a half by three and a half four and a half by three and a half and then my topper is three and a half by three and a half and my designer series paper is three and a quarter by three and a quarter this designer series paper is all retired as well but that's okay we are doing the technique so first of all we're going to start by scoring our main card and we're going to score this on the long side at the six inch mark so let's score our main card on the long side at the six inch mark and we can fold and burnish that and that's out of the way then now my technique for this card is something I picked up along the way from watching a few other YouTube videos on how to, to measure the uh, cut out for the middle of our slider so I've done all the, cut, the measurements on the back here like so so if you've got a designer series paper like mine that has a, a, a direction make sure you turn it over and put top 
at the top piece so you know that that's the top of the card and then what we're going to do is we're just going to either use a ruler or a or the edge of your card let me get a pencil and um, the edge of your um, oh grid paper and mark along the bottom at one inch and one and a half inch and on the side of the one inch mark then turn it 90 degrees and mark one inch, one inch and one and a half on the top. Then we're going to turn it again 90 degrees and we're going to mark one and a half, one inch and the one inch on the side and then we're going to turn it one more time and we're going to mark one inch, one inch and one and a half. And then we're going to draw our lines, as you can see all my lines are in here, at the one and a half inch, the one inch, the one and a half and the one inch and the one inch top and bottom. So if you could see that, can you see that all right in there? Yes, just. It's not a very good colour to be doing it on. Okay, so once we've done that, we know where we're going to cut. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our cutting board and we're going to lay our piece with the... And we, we do all our drawing on the opposite side, not on the side that we're going to use. So if this is white on this side, even better, but if it's not, well... So what we're going to do is at the one and a half inch, one inch down mark and the one and a half inch mark in, down to the bottom one inch mark, we're going to cut with our knife a straight line. So we have our cut through like so. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side from our one, one and a half inch in and our one and a half half one inch up and top and bottom okie dokie so we have two cuts on our sides like so and then we're going to cut along the bottom one not the top one top one must stay intact so we're going to then cut along the bottom one from the one and a half inch mark to the one and a half inch mark and that's all our cutting and I've uh, cut it properly, like I haven't. There we go. You should have a flappy piece in the middle, like so. Okay, so now we're going to close that up, that knife up, and we're going to move our cutting board out of the way. And we're going to bring in our scoreboard again. And we're going to score this. We're going to see that we need, well, actually, the best way is to measure it. We want to measure in another half an inch and then we want to measure this is four just under four and a half inch uh, three and a half inches so we want this to be one and three quarter inches so we can then pop this in here and we're going to just move our ruler along here so we can see where we want to go and we're going to just draw our score our line from the cut line to the cut line and then we're going to do exactly the same again at this one here, from the cut line to the cut line. It's just easier to do it that way, as you will see. We don't need, oh, we could do this one up here as well, which is at the one inch mark. Whoops. So from the cut line to the cut line, at the one inch mark here. And there are all our score lines then are on here so we can score this one this one is going to be burnished backwards so it's a valley fold the next one is going to be followed inwards which is a mountain fold and our last one is going to be another valley fold so that is our card base all right, so, whoops, so we need to flatten that off as much as possible as we can for doing that. And we're going to just get our a one inch circle punch, and I just mark this, so this is five and a half, so half of five and a half is two and three quarters. Just put a little mark at the top there, so that you can then pop this in here, about the halfway mark, and centralise it and chop out our top of our, um, 
our finger hole. So that is our finger hole done. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get our main card and we're going to glue our first layer onto the front of the card. So let's do that. Now if you're using a white layer for your second, your like your layer, you don't need to put the white layer in on top. So, I have put that on and now I'm going to put my white layer on top of that. Now, if this layer is white, you don't need to do this, this layer. You can omit this layer altogether. But as I am doing a coloured layer, I will need to have that on there. So, I pop this onto the top of this one, lining it up so it's got a nice edge all the way around. And that's there. What we're going to do next is we're going to pop this on here, but we're not going to stick it down. What we can do is just going to push this up as if you've got your layer on there to where roughly you would like it. Oops. Right. Whoops. Stay on there. And then I'm just going to use my pencil to put a little mark on three sides so that here is where I'm going to stamp my saying. So with my memento ink, I'm going to stamp May your day bubble over with happiness. Right in the centre of that piece there, like so. Once I've done that, I can then use my rubber, whatever it may be, here we go, oops, and just rub out these little marks on the sides and the top and the bottom. So that they don't get seen. And now we are got ready to pop these all together. So now we need our other piece like so. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop this onto here. So what we're going to do is we're going to put some tape along here. So it's, I find it easier to use double sided tape rather than glue. So on my piece here I'm going to pop some double sided tape and we don't want it over the edge like this piece is so that's coming off and I will remove that piece ouch let's get my picky tool here and I'm putting in another piece so that it's nice and even along there and we'll break that one off as well and that one on there. So now we're going to then put our slider piece so that this piece now is measures the same width as where these outside lines are. So we're going to lay that one flat. I'm going to turn this around the other way so it's easier for me. And I'm going to pop this, lay that down nice and flat and pop this between those two marks and along that bottom line and it will be on the bottom of our piece of card. So when we're sliding this, it will slide up like so. So what I'm going to do next is I'm actually going to draw a line around here like so. So I can bring this up and I'm going to stick my things in here. So my circles that I cut out. So I'm, 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 that is only just a guide because I don't want much sticking out the top. I just want a tiny bit stuck out the top like so. So I've done one for the back so that they match up nice and neatly. And that one will just sit on top of the other one, covering it up beautifully on the back. So now I have my pull from the top. Oops. Okay, so now we're going to turn this over again, and I've got some thicker double-sided tape. This is a half inch, as I think it is, or just under a half an inch. Yeah, just under, I think. But it doesn't matter. We, what we want to do is we want to pop it along this side. Chop that one off. 
along this side so making sure it's not over the edge like that little bit is okay and along the bottom but making sure that we don't put it across the top and we don't put it so that it gets stuck on these sides here so we've got our three sides done we'll pop that one out of the way three sides done here like so so we're going to now remove our release tape on all three sides and we're going to line this up so that it matches right over the top of our white layer or if you have a white layer originally you've got it so that it sits nice and neatly around the three sides so that's our card front done with our pull and it says whatever it says so now I'm just going to use my um, sharpie to write pull on here so the recipient will know how to what to do and that is along that edge there so I now have my front layers now I'm going to stamp around the edge of this one so I need a piece of scrap paper and I'm going to use the um, smoke or grease mark whatever you want to call it uh, I've got grease marks all over my finger now <laughs> just to go right around the edge so that it's you don't need it much because you're only going to see the edge of it. I just didn't want that white edge showing. And then I'm going to do the same on this one, just over the top, just to take that look of off. So let's pop that over there. And we're going to now layer our two layers together. Let's move that over here for the front of the cart. As I say, this um, I love these sets, so I can't get rid of them. So I'm just showing you that you can still use them. So our layers are stuck together, and we're now going to stick this onto the front of the card. Now, the best way to stick this onto the front of the card is to lift it up so that you can put your glue on this section here, this middle section. So if you put your glue on that middle section just there like so, then you can lay it down or as much as you want with it so that you can still see that score line there and pop this card so that it's in the middle like there's an even gap either side of that. Lift it up again just so that you know that you've got it oops, sitting nicely. Lift it up as high as you want just to get it nicely and then we can lay it down and lay it flat and then squish it down nicely so now we'll do our insert and then we will do the front of the car so once again I'm going to get my scrap piece of paper because I'm going to go right around the edge once again with ink all over my fingers with the smoke mark because I just think that it just takes that boredom off of a white edge. Sometimes it's nice to have a white edge, but not always. So there's the around the edge with that. I'm going to then close that one up. And I'm going to put in the middle here with my memento. All geared up to celebrate geared up to celebrate and then I'm going to, oops, going to just pop my gasoline bottle or jerry can down here as the sausages call it 
which didn't print out very nicely. I'm really cross with that, but I can't do anything about it, unfortunately. And my I'm going to pop this in the top corner. So I have my my blender pens here. So we're going to do it with a light cherry cobbler. And I'm going to colour the whole of my jerry can in the light cherry cobbler, except for the spout. Which is exactly the same as what I did for the ones on the front. And then I'm going to do my toolbox in the light cherry cobbler, except for the latch. And the tools. Oops, a little bit over the edge there. Sorry if I'm not talking, I'm concentrating. Concentration takes thoughts away. Okay, dokie, with the dark one, what I'm going to do is where these dark patches are here, I'm just rubbing the dark ones over it so that it looks like what it's supposed to. And the same with here, that's just to give it the shadowy look. And then with my light smoky slate, I'm going to do the spout and my tools in the box and the latch. And because I have my sharpie here, I'm just going to draw this bottom line in on here. That looks better. And that is our insert. I will use my, um, and I hope I haven't got with me, my lightning pen which will actually get rid of that. So we're going to glue our insert into the inside of our card. like so, so the insert is in our card, we will pull our tab so we can see that it's going to be nice, yes beautifully, just beautiful, so what we're going to do is we're going to start dressing this, so I'm going to actually glue my cogs onto the front of my card, onto the section that is popping up with some wet glue. Oops, we're in the middle bit there. And then we're going to pop that onto the front. Oh my gosh. Onto the front of the card like so. If there's a little bit hanging off, make sure you pull the glue off. That one will come off there. Luckily this glue is really nice. I do have my glue rubber so I can actually remove any ink that's on the front of the card. And that's our glue in bits so what we're going to do now is we're going to bring in all our bits and I've got my trusty whatever you call these things dimensions <laughs> um, which I'm really great that I remember all the names of these things not so let's pop three dimensions onto our bottles 
and we pop these onto the front of the card. Oops. Now everything I'm putting on here will be how I want them to be. So just making sure that anything that goes over doesn't have anything to stick onto. So we are going to pop this one this angle. Making sure there's nothing stuck out there. And this one will be on this angle the same way. It doesn't matter if it sticks over the edge here, as you can see, because that will not stick down as long as there isn't anything to stick down. I'm going to then pop my two glasses in the middle like so. So I just put a couple of dimensions on these. Oops, got more than one. And as I did these, just making sure you don't go again over this line here at the bottom. If you do, it won't pull up properly like so. So just making sure you don't go over that. I will pop my car in the middle. Oops, I'm really doing good with pulling out more than I need. one off there, up through the middle here, yep that looks good, oh, I'm going to pop my toolbox and my jerry can down the bottom, so I'm going to pop these on the side like so. Now just making sure if it goes over the where this is sliding that it's up high enough that it slides without movement. Now I'm just going to put a couple more on the back of my saying which I did and I embossed with gold embossing powder and I'm just going to pop that in the middle like so. So let's pop that off of there. I will stand this up so I can see exactly where I want it, so it's down as low as possible. And that's my card. What do you think? Wow, I'm really happy with that. And I know Dennis will love it. He's a, a lovely, he loves his Fords, so I think this is a Mustang, Ford Mustang. He does like a drink. Not so much a beer, but he does like a drink. So I think he will enjoy this card. What do you think? Let's pop that one there. And this one here is for Mina. So Dennis and Mina, I hope you enjoy your cards. This one, as I say, again, is this one, the papers are retired, but the bottle of perfume and the lipsticks are part of the best to uh, best dressed to impress. <laughs> get that right um, set this is from a, another set these with the nail polish bottles and the glasses just an old dye that I had hanging around so I've enjoyed making both of them and I think they both look absolutely fabulous I hope you like them and if you do and you would like to see more of my products please subscribe to my channel and then you won't miss out on any new projects that I make if you do like them, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I love to read them all, and I do read them all. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.